Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's another grocery haul. I just came back from Walmart. We did a walkthrough. I'm glad to say that it was actually stocked up on a few items. Of course, I've seen the normal gaps, you know, the normal staging and things, but they actually had items. And that's the most important thing. Did they have it or did they not have it? Um... But yes, they actually had items, enough items for people to go out there and prep if they have not already, grab a few items, you know, extra this, extra that, whatever it is. So on certain items, it was bare, such as um, body wash and toothpaste and toothbrushes and things like that. But for the most part, they had things. Um, yes. So we're going to jump right into this grocery haul. Thank you, thank you, thank you to MWU family for so much support. I truly appreciate it. All of you guys are amazing. All of you are amazing. So let's go ahead and jump right into this because my battery is actually about to die. And I want to go ahead and put my groceries up. Uh, so yes. First, first off, hold on. I got bags everywhere. Yes, I'm saving my bags. If y'all don't know, here in New Jersey, at least, they are about to ban the bags. So it won't be no more bags. Which is okay, because I save all my bags anyway. And I have reusable bags. So I don't know if it's like that in your states, wherever you guys are located. Let me know in the comments down below if they ban plastic bags as of yet. Or if you have to pay for bags. Let me know. So, firstly, we're going to go ahead and start off with our stockpile items that I'm going to go ahead and put to the stockpile, which will be more of these Ben's Original Ready Rice. So, we have more of those. Sorry, y'all. I feel like something in my throat. I swear. Um, <laughs> yes, so we have more of those. I did get a comment under one of the videos saying that when they opened up um, one of these bins, right, ready rice, it was kind of moldy. I'm not too sure the way it was stored. Um, it's a possibility that, yes, it did have mold in it. This is already cooked things. I have not had any problems with them. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys had any problems with the bins rice. Um, that's also something to watch out for. So thank you for leaving that in the comments. Um, I can't quite remember your name right now, but definitely thank you for mentioning that in the comments as well. But anyhow, so we have three of the garden vegetable. Remember, this is for the stockpile, guys. Three, four. Actually, we have five of the garden vegetable and two of the coconut jasmine. Ready, rice. We also have for the stockpile some more of these sweet and spicy tuna creation. Um, and then we also have three more packs of the pink salmon in the packaging so one two three these are actually something that every prepper should have in their stockpile because it's already cooked and it's easy to pack and go look at this it don't weigh nothing nothing um also for the stockpile we have one gallon of distilled water and one gallon of spring water Every time I go to the store, I think of what can I get to add to the stockpile. Even if it's something a little, you know, it's just a little bit, but that's for the stockpile today. But I grab something, as long as I grab something. Um, so all of this here will be going to the stockpile. So we can go ahead and put a little check mark, check complete, added something to the stockpile. Um, also, we have these little great value variety pack of potato chips. It's only five bucks and change. But this isn't for home or for my stockpile. This is actually for the kids' school because they're having something. So I bought two of them, one for each of the kids because um, only two of the kids are having something. So they're going to go ahead and take that. Also, for the stockpile, we have some body wash because, like I said, the body wash is kind of hard to come by at Walmart at least. And these are only a dollar and change. So I have one, two, milk and honey, three. So these are all going to go to the stockpile as well. Let me know if you guys like bar soap or body wash or you use both. Me, I prefer body wash, but if I had to use the bar soap, I use the bar soap. Also, the margarine sticks have been hard to come by. 
These are, I think, 88 cents in Walmart. So I picked up two boxes. And that is also for my little butter stock pile that's in the fridge, at least. I have about maybe six of them. So I got two more because I seen it. So I grabbed it. If you see it, grab it. We also have some fish sticks here. Of course, not for the stockpile, but we have it. Also, for those of you who do watch my hauls, or for those of you who also have YouTube channels, and y'all be grabbing this, and I be telling y'all, I cannot seem to find the Tyson chicken strips. I can't seem to find it. They didn't have the crispy one. Actually, not the crispy. Um, It's a bigger bag. They did have it, but it was kind of expensive. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, maybe I should have got it. I have these two here set up perfect for you guys, just to show you why. This bag here was almost $8. Almost $8. Let me show you what's in these, these bags. This is what's in there for eight bucks. I have four kids. This ain't gonna feed no four kids. I'm gonna have to open up both of them, you know. But if it came down to it, of course, I'll go ahead and split this between them um, and just figure it out. But I got two bags. I should have hit. I should have went ahead and just got that bigger bag. I really should have. But you know, we all realize stuff a little bit later. Next time, I know. It used to be a lot more in here, though. I, that's what I could say. So I did notice that ain't nothing up in here really. So yes, we also have the sausage, egg, and cheese on the biscuits. Easy to grab. Easy to go. We have some burger buns, some hot dog rolls. And then one of the kids was asking for these here. They be seeing stuff on YouTube and stuff. and Or maybe they just remember having it that one time. So I went ahead and I picked it up because they actually had it. Why not? And then I have four of these here beef patties. These Jamaican beef patties by Golden Crest. The kids, they actually like these. Even though we're not a red meat kind of eating family, when we do have it, it'll be like maybe stuff like this, maybe. Um, beef hot dogs, definitely. And everything else is like chicken, fish, shrimp, all that other good stuff. That expensive good stuff. Um, <laughs> and I know steak. I remember when I used to eat steak, y'all, that stuff was expensive. I don't really look for it no more in the store. Let me know how much y'all really paying for steak nowadays in the comments down below. I don't look for it because I don't buy it. So, just let me know how much it is in your area for good old... I'm, I don't mean that cheap steak. I mean a good old piece of steak. We also have some Mott's applesauce, which is the pouches. They actually have some tater tots. So, you know I grabbed the bag of those. I put those right in the air fryer in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have these little, I think these are like shortbread cookies. It looked like shortbread to me by great value. It's 12 little packages. On the inside, I can throw those right in the baby's um, little book bag. And we're out the door with her cup if she want a snack on the go. And she always needs a snack on the go. Also, we have one box of cereal. I have not been buying cereal. But I have a box of cereal. I'll see if the kids eat it. And then we have this great value brand of which would be, come on, y'all, what's the name of it? Lucky Charms. But we got the great value brand today. And then we also have these cinnamon French toast bites. And what else do we have? I have a few other items, but I left it in the car, which is nothing but a storage bin, the three draw storage bin. Um, it was $15 in Walmart. They had it on clearance. So I have one of those and I also have a sweater and that pretty much completes the list. But most importantly, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm adding to the stockpile because it's very important. It's becoming crucial for you to have some type of stockpile. Like I said, not just food, your everyday items you want to go ahead and stock up on. It's really becoming crucial to a point. Like, if you don't get it now, expect to pay the price for it later or just don't have it at all. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's it. I'm not going to ramble this time. I'm not going to ramble off. Just wanted to share with you guys. I'm tired, y'all. I'm so tired. What time is it? 12.57. Oh. Ah. Yes, time be flying, y'all. Time definitely be flying. 
So that's pretty much it for the video. Let me know if you guys stocked up. Let me know if you are a prepper or if you get in prep. Or you just an everyday person like myself just grabbing them extra few items. You know, me, I consider myself just a regular person grabbing them extra, extra few items. Um, getting things, learning from other people, getting things on the go. That's pretty much it. But I can honestly say when you are prepping or you stockpiling or whatever it is that you're doing, make sure you are not stockpiling just for one individual. Make sure you are stockpiling for your whole household. Okay, even if you have pets. And even if you know it's going to be a family member that rely on you, of course, you're not going to leave them out there in the cold. Even if you are telling them a multiple amount of times, you know, it's getting real out here. You might want to go ahead and you know get your things together. Stock up a few extra this, a few extra that, because you never know when somebody come knocking at your door. Just like you never know if you're going to have to go knock on somebody else's door as well. Um, me, I'm not the type to close the door in people's faces. Um, but I would tell them, like, you know, I can help you. But I can help you only so much. You know, even when it comes down to situations like that. You know, I have kids to look after. I have my own family and things like that. But I am the type of person that gives a helping hand. That's just me. That's 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 just me. That's how I'm built. Um, but that's it. We're going to leave this here. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, for so much support. I appreciate each and every one of you that became part of the MWU family. Y'all, we are growing. Oh my God, I'm so blessed. I, I, I definitely can feel it. Like, my spirit's been lifted lately. Every little comment every little like, even every little dislike. Isn't it crazy when a dislike can touch you too? Oh, yeah, I'm, listen, y'all, I'll see you guys next video. You all stay prep, stay blessed, and stay safe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this moment with us over here at Moments With Us. See you all next video. Peace.